now we can try to see if we can graph uh, a polar, polar equation. Well, it's going to be a little bit different than just simply plotting a uh, Cartesian form order pair, uh, where we just find that spot on the plane and plot it. This time, uh, it's a little bit different, but not terribly different. So let's go ahead and draw a table so we can see what these values are. Well, let's set theta to be from uh, 0 to 2 pi. And the interval is our choice, of course. The more intervals we choose, uh, the more defined, more well-defined to the truth the function will be. But for the sake of learning and seeing what this polar coordinates is about, we'll just use um, steps of pi over 4. So 0, pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, which is just pi, then 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, or 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4, which is 2 pi. So let's go ahead and write in r equals 2 cosine of theta. And for the last bracket, we'll just write the uh, pair that defines the function. So plotting these, uh, r equals 2 cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 equals 1. So r equals 2 times 1, which equals 2. And we just do that for each value of theta. So going down the line, we get 2, 1.4, 0, negative 1.4, negative 2, negative 1.4, uh, about 0, 1.4, and 2. So now we write the order pairs, uh, 0, 2, pi over 4, 1.4 pi over 2, 0, 3 pi over 4, negative 1.4, pi, negative 2, 5 pi over 4, negative 1.4, 3 pi over 2, 0, 7 pi over 4, 1.4, and 2 pi, 2. And this column is the one we are looking for to graph. So let's go ahead and draw our coordinate plane. Well, so let's go ahead and apply this first, first term here. 0, 2. So the theta is 0. So that means there's no angle from the x-axis. And 2 is simply 2 units over r equals 2. So this is our first point. So moving along, uh, we have our second point, pi over 4. So pi over 4 is here. Here is pi over 4, and the radius is 1, uh, the r value is 1.4, so the r value is about 1.4, so somewhere along here. And moving along, pi over 2, uh, 0, so pi over 2, 0 is the origin. Anytime r equals 0, uh, you're going to get a point in the origin, so we have these three points plotted. 3 pi over 4 is here. And uh, our value of negative 1.4. So negative 1.4 going this way is about here. So now we have pi negative 2, which is here. So if we keep following these down, we're going to find that these points just simply repeat. So now we can graph this curve. And we see that it's not really a shape that we can define through words. We, can, we can't say that it's a circle because it's a little skewed. We can't say it's an ellipse because it's also a little skewed. So that's the great thing about polar coordinates is we can graph uh, pretty complex shapes that we can't do with uh, normal Cartesian uh, equations. So uh, that's it for polar coordinates. A quick overview, uh, we looked at how uh, to convert them into Cartesian forms, and also how to graph them. And for the AP exam, uh, that will be uh, all we need as a fundamental basis to move on to the more complex AP topics. So uh, once again, thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.